Eco Marines is a force of kids that are out there trying to help save the world. Well, Eco Marines started because Tangalooma Island Resort were really passionate about wanting to protect our local waterways in Moreton Bay. Plastics are a huge problem here in Moreton Bay, so 40% of sea turtles that wash up here have ingested plastic. Eco Marine Ambassador role is run through the schools. We guide them. I decided to be involved with Eco Marines because I love inspiring the kids and I love the ocean. I felt a real responsibility, not only for me to start spreading the word, but to empower young people. I wanted to become an Eco Marine Ambassador because I'm really passionate about the environment. If we want to live on this planet, then we've got to help it survive. I want to be an eco-marine to change the world, to make it a better place with no plastic in it. When you're an eco-marine ambassador, you have to educate everyone else about how to take care of the environment. So eco-marines is all about kids teaching kids and these kids being leaders. We give them all different challenges to run. We hold events where they get to network with each other. They share ideas. I think one of the things I've really enjoyed as an eco-marine teacher is watching kids develop life skills, independence. Sometimes we present items about how to use the correct bins and how to reduce plastic in your own environment and help the school become better, cleaner and more plastic free. I'm not driving the program anymore. They're taking responsibility. They're coming up with ideas and they're communicating it to others. And they're getting others excited, getting the whole school on board. <laughs> One of the wonderful things I've experienced in recent times too is being introduced to eco-marines. Absolutely wonderful. The development of the focus of the young ones on, on the future and stressing the importance that they are getting of, uh, of nature, nature's ways. We engage with our traditional owners as much as possible to share culture and knowledge. Tangalooma Eco Marines has really come in at a most extraordinary time in their history. I love Eco Marines and a good friend of mine, Penny. She's been working with us for several years and we have a care for country down on Kuchi Mudlow Island. We have all the school kids come over. Welcome to Country has always been done by tribes when they meet and greet other tribes to welcome them into their lands. And so when Penny brings all these other kids over, all of us are coming together on the same page and they go back home with a good positive outlook. It puts into context that history of 60,000 years of tradition into modern day, a shared heritage, a shared country, a shared understanding of the meaning of and the connections of sea, land, people, hope and vision for what the future is. It makes me feel really good and positive for the future. We're very attached to the, to, to the whole program and the country and the healing process that is taking place. Eco Marines has grown beyond my expectations in such a short time, which is amazing. At the moment we're in southeast Queensland in Australia and we're creating a regional model to um, adapt all over Australia and eventually, hopefully, across the world. I want to go all over the world in five or ten years. If you'd like to find out more information about Ecomarines, we've got a website, so you can just go to ecomarines.com. If the oceans could talk, they'll be bringing the messages and they'll be saying to Ecomarines, well done. Let's go. Let's save the world. <laughs> Yeah.